So it's probably not surprising that those holiday travel numbers are underwhelming given just the limited mobility that we're talking about here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I mean, I think it reflects the tail end of the Shanghai lockdown. Uh, you've got uh, people just emerging from, some still under curbs in Beijing. Um, and in other parts of the country, people are reluctant to travel because of fear that they will get caught up in China's COVID zero dragnet. Uh, and that's something that will remain as long as China keeps that possible. Policy, even though you are seeing a uh, easing off in terms of the outbreaks uh, under 10 new cases in both Beijing and Shanghai reported this morning. Emma, we just saw Hong Kong PMI numbers starting to recover with restrictions having been eased, but we're now hearing that COVID-19 cases are climbing again. What do we know? Yeah, I mean, I think that data is a reflection of the pretty concerted easing that we have seen when it comes to Hong Kong pandemic policy. But it does appear as though cases are ticking a little bit higher again, over 500 new cases, the highest in six weeks reported for Sunday. And you've got to remember that, uh, you know, that's probably just the tip uh, of what uh, we're actually seeing in Hong Kong with a lot of people probably not reporting their infections, particularly uh, given the atmosphere has has soured a little bit in Hong Kong with concerns about uh, them rolling back home quarantine for people uh, who are diagnosed with new variants uh, and concern that, you know, the, the easing path that Hong Kong is on might be uh, frozen at least up until the handover of power with the chief executives at the beginning of July.